Hello everyone, uh, it's been a little while since Spectrum was depreciated, and this tutorial has been a long time coming. So without further ado, I'll jump right into it. First you need to have Distance, a copy of Distance. Um, this tutorial will cover the Steam version of Distance. If you have a DRM-free version of Distance, this can work for that with a little bit of imagination and you will need to have a small understanding of how the two versions are different. Step 1. You are going to want to download 7-Zip if you don't have it already. The link to install that is in the description. Step 2. You're going to want to download Centrifuge and the custom car mod. These are two zip files. You can put these anywhere you want, but you will need to move them to specific locations later on. You can find links for these in the description below. Step 3. You will need to rename or reset your custom track texture patch if you have one, because on the next step that is going to be overwritten and you will need to completely reinstall it. So if you don't back it up, then this will cause problems later on with that specifically. Step 4. Going to want to open up Distance, right click it, click Properties, click Install Files, and then click the button which reads Verify Integrity of Game Files. This is a precautionary measure to make sure that no old mod files are left and that the executable file that you are working with is unmodified. Step 5. In the zip file that we downloaded for Centrifuge earlier in Step 2, you're going to want to run the centrifuge.installer.exe file after extracting all of the contents of the folder into a separate directory. Step 6. On the installation executable for Centrifuge, you will click the three dots and then navigate to your distance installation directory. If you do not know where distance is installed on your computer, you can find this information by opening Steam, finding the distance game, right-clicking it, mousing over Manage, and then clicking Browse Local Files. Step 7. Click Install. Step 8. Run Distance. You should see text in the upper left-hand corner of the screen once the game has launched, letting you know that Centrifuge is installed properly. If you do not see this, something has gone wrong. You will need to revisit the previous steps in order to correct the error. Step 10. Close Distance. Step. 11. Extract the contents of the custom car mod that we downloaded in Step 2. Extract it into the Distance Data Centrifuge directory, wherever your copy of Distance is installed, overwriting any files if prompted.
Step 12. Start distance. And, if everything went properly, then you should be able to find custom cars in your garage. Step 13. Use the custom car repository link below and move any custom car files into the assets folder of the custom car mod as shown. And that's it. If the steps were followed correctly and there were no confounding factors, custom cars should now be installed on your system. If you have any issues with this installation, and if you have any feedback, make sure to leave it in the comments below.